All right, so are you ready to put on your detective hats? Because today we are going deep <laughs> into ancient Rome. Ooh, I love ancient Rome. Specifically Pompeii, and it involves a murder mystery. Oh, even better. Yeah. So, to set the stage for you, picture this. We've got a wealthy merchant living the good life in his fancy Roman villa, and then, bam. Volcano. Volcano. Mount Vesuvius erupts, covers everything in ash, and it's like hitting the pause button on this guy's life yeah. and his death. A snapshot in time. Exactly, a yeah. snapshot, and a pretty gruesome one at that. Turns out, our merchant didn't die of natural causes. Nope, someone decided to give him a one-way ticket out of Pompeii using, get this, poison. Classic. Right, and what's crazy is this wasn't some isolated incident. Huh. Our sources, and we've got some juicy ones, paint a picture of a society, well, Roman society, where poison was like, the weapon of choice. Oh, yeah. I mean, think about it. No CSI Pompeii back then, mm -hmm. right? Poison, it's silent, it's hard to trace, and if you knew your way around a garden, well, let's just say opportunities were plentiful. Okay, hold on. Garden. What are we talking? Poison ivy. Poison ivy, please. We're talking hemlock, the stuff that took out Socrates. Belladonna messes with your mind, makes you see things. And then there's oleander. Pretty to look at, deadly to eat. So we've got our murder weapon, or at least the category of it. Let's meet our suspects, shall we? I mean, who would want this merchant dead? Let's meet them. Suspect number one, the grieving widow. Now, I know what you're thinking, classic, right? But inheriting in ancient Rome, especially for women, wasn't always straightforward. Lots of laws, complications. Right, but let's be real, a sudden windfall. It's motive enough for some, especially if, say, there were whispers of a younger wife, or maybe, just maybe, some rumors of infidelity floating around. Who knows what secrets lie buried under that ash? Suspect number two, and this one's interesting, a business rival. Seems our merchant may have, shall we say, ruffled a few feathers in the marketplace. We're talking bad deals, maybe even some straight-up sabotage. Pompeii, it was a bustling place, lots of competition. We've got records of lawsuits, property disputes, you name it. Tensions ran high. So yeah, a rival eliminating the competition. It's not out of the question. And finally, suspect number three, the scorned lover. Uh, love, jealousy, betrayal. A timeless recipe for, well, not a happy ending, that's for sure. The Romans, they were passionate people. Their literature, their plays, full of dramatic love stories and tense emotions. A vengeful lover would fit right into the Pompeian drama scene. Now, these are just our main suspects. Our sources mention a few other shady characters lurking around, but let's focus. We've got suspects, we've got poison, but what about actual evidence? Evidence, oh, we've got some, remember that frozen time thing? Well, right there in the merchant's hand, a cup, a poisoned cup get out. No, seriously. And if we could analyze the residue, who knows what we'd find? Hemlock, belladonna, something even more exotic. The poison itself could point us towards the killer. And there's more. Apparently, the authorities also found a threatening message. Now, this could be a red herring, a prank, who knows? But it definitely adds to the mystery. Oh, absolutely. And yeah. the message itself, handwriting, word choice, it could tell us a lot about the sender. Was it someone educated, someone desperate? Was it a carefully planned threat or a spur of the moment outburst? So many questions. All right. So we've got suspects, poison, a poison cup, a threatening note, and an entire city frozen in time. This is like the ultimate cold case. It is. And what makes it even more fascinating is what it tells us about Roman society. The ambition, the secrets, the dangers lurking beneath the surface of this seemingly civilized world. Human nature, right? It's right. timeless. So what do you think? Who poisoned the Pompeian merchant? The grieving widow? The bitter rival? The scorned lover? Or maybe someone else entirely? We may never know for sure, but that's the beauty of a mystery like this. It makes you think. It makes you question. It makes you want to dig deeper. Exactly. And luckily, there's plenty to dig into. Books, articles, even virtual tours of Pompeii. It's all out there waiting to be explored. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to finally crack this case wide open. And on that note, we'll leave you to ponder. Until next time, keep those detective hats handy. And those gardening gloves. You never know. You never know.